Okay, thank you for those last questions. I may not get to all of them, please forgive me. You can always email me. Uh, it is worth noting, <coughs> Transurban donate thousands of dollars to both the Liberal and the Labor Party. It's just worth noting that. Uh, in terms of uh, livability and Melbourne's rating, it's also worth noting that that rating is designed for executives who are thinking of doing a job stint in Melbourne and it weighs up the infrastructure around the CBD and in the city. It certainly doesn't look at the plight of people in the outer suburbs. Uh, their constituents I talk to all the time who are struggling with buses and trains and congestion uh, and their lives certainly aren't that livable at the moment. So that measure of livability is a very specific one. Uh, in terms of walkable living, I couldn't agree more in terms of there should be far more opportunities to walk around. I get very distressed uh, and did, uh, when I took uh, my son to primary school, how many people drive their kids to school, how little opportunities there are to walk, and that's a whole lot of reasons why. But the main barriers are infrastructure, uh, and we need to change that because we know that communities that walk and communities that catch public transport are much healthier communities. Uh, you don't have to believe me, it's out there, it's science, it's proven. So I completely agree with that. Uh, in terms of Steve, Steve, your transport dilemma, McLeod to Dandenong. Uh, imagine if we had high frequency uh, rail services. Imagine if we had high capacity signalling on our rail lines. Some of our signalling is 100 years old on our metropolitan system. Imagine if we saw the transformative change we need to see to have the high capacity signalling. Uh, so you can make that journey very efficiently. Because the one thing for sure is if the North East Link is built, you're not going to get your time back. Because you might drive on the road, but you spend a lot of time on on-ramps and off ramps because that's what happens now. And as we know, the, the law of induced demand says uh, things are gonna to return to the way they were and build more roads, get more traffic. Uh, in terms of, is that a minute to go? Oh, thank you. Uh, we're getting there. Uh, parking at train stations. I just wanna make the point that uh, a carriage, one train carriage carries 150 people. You cannot build enough car parks to deal with all the commuters who want to use the train. The best way to deal with getting people to stations is provide bus services for them. Uh, we simply cannot uh, any longer expect to drive everywhere we need to go. We're already struggling under congestion now uh, and it's not viable to do that into the future. I would say, uh, in terms of me, the reason you vote Green is because you want a voice in there advocating for sustainable transport solutions for you. It's been great being a representative of Eastern Metropolitan. I hope to continue to do that very important work uh, because our vision for Melbourne and for Victoria uh, is, a is a sustainable one.